Hi everyone, this is CreoGFX and today I have my first Photoshop tutorial. It's gonna be about how to make your Cinema 4D text look even better in Photoshop. So, um, it's gonna be a short tutorial, maybe around 3 minutes. And I'm pretty much gonna show you how to make your, uh, well, if your text looks like this, I'm gonna show you how to make it look like this. So um, I use this technique in uh, quite a lot of my backgrounds. So um, yeah, let's get started. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete these two layers. Okay, so once you have your 3D text, what you wanna do first is you wanna right click the layer, go to blending options, and then you wanna add a, a gradient overlay down here. You don't have to change the settings, you scale on the scale, bring it up to 150%, and then on the blend mode, change it to uh, overlay. So already looks pretty nice, but uh, we can definitely look make it look better. So uh, what you can do now is you can add an inner shadow, set the distance to zero, and the size to around 15 pixels. Uh, it's it's depending on how big your text is. If it's smaller, you might want to bring it down a bit and uh, so on. So I uh, just play around with the settings a little bit. But uh, once you've done that, what you can do is you can add a drop shadow here at the top. And uh, you don't have to change the settings too much. Just bring the size up a bit to around 20, 25, something like that. Like so. And uh, then you can click OK. So, uh, now what we can do is we can add a curve adjustment to, uh, you know, make it a little bit sharper. So, uh, just go to image, adjustments, and curves. And uh, you just want to make a simple curve like this. So, uh, this will pretty much uh, make the dark parts a bit darker and the bright parts a bit brighter. To make the text look a bit sharper you know as I said so uh, once you've done that you can click OK and uh, now we're gonna add a texture so um, I will include a pretty nice nice grunge texture in the video description which you can use uh, it's the same one as I'm gonna use so I'm just gonna locate it in finder you can just uh, save it from the link so um, just uh, add it to your Photoshop document and uh, put it over your text like this. Gonna make it a little bit bigger first. All right. So now what you want to do is you want to hold Alt and click in between these two layers, uh, the texture layer and the uh, 3D text layer, like so. So now what you want to do is you want to change the uh, blend mode to this layer from normal to overlay. And you want to decrease the opacity a bit to uh, maybe around 70-80% uh, something like that. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if you like this tutorial, please show me that you liked it by clicking like down below. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. So um, I'm not from the US or I'm not from the UK, so English is not my first language. But um, my English is pretty decent, so hopefully you will understand me, and that's what matters. So uh, I hope you liked this tutorial, and uh, yeah, so I'll see you in the next video. Bye.